Most online tutorials for building chatbots depend on using either ChatGPT or Replicate REST APIs. These REST APIs are not free. You have to pay for their usage. So I started looking for a free alternative and that's when I stumbled upon a tool named Ulama. Ulama lets us run open source LLM on our local computer for free. It even has Python library that lets us access these local LLMs to REST API. So in this video, I will provide step-by-step -step guide to build chatbot using Python libraries Ulama and Panel. We will use open source LLM Llama 2 with 7 billion parameters for our purpose. The front end will be created using Python dashboarding library panel. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step in building our chatbot will be installation of Olama. For that, you can go to Olama website olama.com and then click on this download button. It will take you to the download page and from there, based on your operating system, you can install Olama. In my case, mine is a Linux operating system. So I need to execute this uh, command in the terminal and it will install Olama. After you have successfully installed Olama, you can verify the installation by going to terminal and then executing command Olama. And if you see doc or uh, help page like this, then it confirms that Olama is successfully installed on your system. The next step after downloading Ulama is to download Llama2 model which we are going to use for our chatbot. For that, go to command line and execute command Ulama full Llama2. And this command will download Llama2 on your system. And this can take some time depending on your net speed. Alright, so download has successfully completed. Now we can use this model for chat purpose. For this tutorial, we are using Llama2 model with 7 billion parameters. But what if you want to use Llama2 model with 13 billion parameter or 70 billion parameters or you want to use some other model than Llama2. So how can you do that? For that, go to Llama2 website and on the top search for the model name. So let's say I search for Llama2 and it will take me to the Llama page. And from there, you can click on this drop down. So let's say that uh, you want to use 70 billion parameter model. So if you select that, then you need to execute this command. Ulama full Llama 2 colon 7 billion and that instruction will download Llama 2 model with 70 billion parameters. To run Llama 2 model with uh, 7 billion parameters, you need to have at least 8 GB of RAM available on your system. So that's the requirement for running any model with 7 billion parameters. And let's say that you want to run a model with 13 billion parameters, then you need to have at least 16 GB of RAM and 32 GB of RAM is required for running model with 33 billion parameters. So keep the system requirements in mind as well. The total code for the chatbot is present in this file named chatbot.py. So let me explain you the code. At the beginning, I have two simple imports. One is for panel library and the another is for Ulama. And then I am setting the theme for this chatbot. So I have set dark theme. Next, I have a callback function generate response. So this function is responsible for taking uh, chat history and generate a response which will be displayed on UI. So this callback function will be called by this uh, chat interface UI component. It has a components like uh, chat field in which the user query and the assistant response will be displayed. Below that there will be a text box to enter prompts and then there will be a few useful uh, buttons to interact with the chatbot. And over there, there is a callback argument as you can see and to which we have given this generate response callback. This generate response callback function takes three arguments, contains, user and the chat interface. So content each time this function will be called, contents will be generally user query, user will be set to user and chat interface is the total chat interface object. So first of all over here, what I have done, I have retrieved a total chat history. For that, I can call this serialize function on chat interface object. And the format needs to set to transformer. So this function will return total history as a list of dictionaries, list of Python dictionaries. Each individual dictionary is either a user query or a assistant response. So dictionary will have two keys, role and content. In case of user, role will be user. And in case of AI response, the role will be assistant. So now we have a chat history. Next, we can call the chat method of Olama library to retrieve the response. So there we can provide model name which we have provided Llama2 and messages will be the total chat history and the last component of this chat history will be the latest query entered by the user. And I have set this parameter stream to true. So what this will do is that the response generated by this call will now be generator and we can loop through this generator 
and each time it will generate a new token we will append it token to this message variable so as you can see we have set this message variable to empty at the beginning and each time new token is generated the new token will be appended to this message and then we are calling it yield message so what this will do it will generate a new token each time and will append that to message and that message will be displayed on ui so it will look like that uh, some typewriter kind of effect is generated so next after declaring chat interface i have called send function on it and over there i have simply given string so this is the initial string which we are sending to our ui and it will be displayed by default so next line of code it creates our total ui of our chatbot and for that i am calling pn dot column function so it lays out individual components provided to it in column like fashion so over there there are simply two components first is markdown which is the header of our chatbot and next is the chat interface which we created after declaring our chatbot ui we simply need to set it to servable so that panel server can serve it so that's our chatbot and as you can see i was able to create this chatbot in only 24 lines of code so let's bring up panel server and interact with this chatbot in order to run our chatbot first of all we need to start ulama server for that go to the command line and execute this command ulama serve and that command will start ulama server now in my case as you can see it has given error saying that this address is already occupied the reason behind this is that when ulama is installed on linux they by default run ulama server as a system service and that's why this command has given error so in your case if you see this error then it means that ulama server is already running and we don't need to do anything else so after we have ulama server up and running next we need to bring panel server up for that go to terminal and execute command panel serve show and chatbot.py and i am already in this directory panel chatbot where i have chatbot.py file present so once you execute that command it will open a chatbot in the browser so let's go ahead and interact with it by asking some query and as you can see it generated a response introducing elon musk in one paragraph so let's go ahead and ask a follow-up question can you please rephrase your previous response and let's see how it's doing and yeah it seems to have done good job at rephrasing the previous response so let's go ahead and ask it to write some code and yeah as you can see it can generate code as well so that's our chatbot and we were able to create this chatbot in simply 24 lines of code so if you have any doubts or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and see you next time